stopped. The action unfolds around a girl and a young boy. The events develop in such a way that each of the characters unwittingly finds themselves in a difficult life situation, and they have to try hard to be victorious to try hard to be winners. The young man participates in boxing fights not only to earn a living, but also to find a use for his strong fighting character and to fulfill a desire to test himself in fair fights with dangerous opponents. Not all of the athletes' fights end successfully, but he consciously chose this road. You cannot call calm and the character of the girl, who differs from many peers not only in her flashy manner of dressing, but also in her defiant behavior. Both characters are quite unusual, so there is nothing surprising in the fact that after one chance meeting, they decide not to part again. The Storm Inside Me This series tells about the lives of two sisters who are trying to be happy, but life throws them new and new challenges. The main characters are looking for love. Esge has been in love with Emre for a long time, so she expects mutual feelings from the man. Denise's sister is going to marry this handsome man, which Esge dislikes. She comes up with a plan to get the man she loves away from her sister. However, neither the plan nor the wedding was destined to take place. The sisters, who spent their entire childhood together, begin to clash. The heroines become real enemies for each other. The Game of My Destiny the series will talk about the life of one very strong girl and her future fate. Her name is Asai, and from the very early years, she had a very difficult time. Very early, she was deprived of her beloved mother, and almost most of her life had to be under the strict supervision of her stepmother. The woman constantly put pressure on her stepdaughter. Asia constantly had to endure from her stepmother humiliation of various kinds, and it had a very strong impact on her character. When the heroine was 17 years old, then fate brought her together with a simple guy named Seymour. Not much time passed, as Seymour offered Asia to secretly get married, and then she could leave the hated house. The girl could not refuse. Soon the loving couple had two children, but then something went wrong. Asai noticed that Jimal became withdrawn and gradually distances himself from the family. All this leads to the fact that Asai begins to fall into a deep depression. At that moment, Seymour met another girl who came from a rich and influential family. Besides the fact that she was beautiful, so did not know the need for finances. He thought that life with her would be much easier. When Jimal abandoned his family, Asai began to despair. But soon she meets Mahir, and life again finds bright colors. As it soon turns out, the man grew up in an annex of the mansion belonging to the family of Simul's new lover. Thus, the circle begins to narrow. Hey, Sultan. The plot of the series tells the story of the most prominent preacher of Islam, Abdul Qadir Jalani. The name of the respected and highly honored Abdul Qadir Jalani is widely known in the East. It was Abdul Qadir Jalani, the theologian and preacher who founded the Sufi order of Qadiriyya. Abdul Qadir Jalani always preached peace and humility and called for social equality. As an 18-year-old young man Abdul Qadir went to Baghdad and began to study the Hanbali Madhab. Then, for many years, Abdul Qadir lived as a hermit, showing by example how little a man needs in life. Years later, in 1127, Jalani returned to Baghdad and began to preach in public places. Abdul Qadir Jalani was very concerned about the poor and tried to help them. 